Hello, Debbie here from Many Things Crafted, and I have been working on my handbag junk journal. And so far, I've put trim around the edge, and now I'm going to trim out these handles. So, what I thought I would do is just take some jute twine and just wrap the handles with some jute just to be different from the sides. So I am just taking my little glue bottle and I'm starting on the corner and just putting a small bead of glue along the edge like that. I think I might just go all the way around. We'll see how that works. And then lay down the twine. I haven't decided if I want to put two layers or one layer or cover the whole thing or... Yeah, I just haven't decided. So we'll just lay the twine down like so. And just go all the way around the handle. Yeah. Why not, I say? Why not? I got this twine at our local dollar store. It's just ordinary garden twine. Hmm. My fingers are sticking again the glue, so I'm just going to use my tweezers and push it down again, just like I did with the trim around the outside edge. Hmm. So how is everybody today? I'm great. The weather has been hot. Yesterday it was 32 degrees Celsius. The day before that it was 33. And this morning it looks like it's going to be another warm one. I think, I think I'll go around again. Yeah, why not? seems to be the saying of the day. Why not? Just put another bead of glue real close to that one. And around and around she goes. For those of you who haven't seen my other videos on this, this is a cardboard container that my husband got. It came with air hose in it, and it was just hung up on the on the shelf in the store by the handles. And I took one look at that and went, "Well, that's cool. I can do something with that." So. I am doing something with it. I only have one, so if I mess it up, I guess, <laughs> I guess I mess it up. There's really no right or wrong when it comes to junk journals, you know, really. Okay. Just trim that off, or should I go around one more time? Hmm. Yeah, why not? Huh, there's that. Why not again? 
I have lots of twine and it's giving the handle really good definition. So I'll just go around one more time. Tuck it up close. Why is it that glue sticks to your fingers but it won't stick to the tweezers? I don't know. That's a mystery to me. sprinkler running outside giving my flower garden a much wanted drink it's been very dry we have got had like not near as much rain as we usually do there's parts of British Columbia that are just having drought conditions yeah it's not good I don't know if it's because of global warming or if it just happens to be the way it is, but I hope it's not a trend. That just would not be good. There we go. Trim that off. Tuck in the end. Smoosh. And that's not too, too bad. Looks okay, I guess. And so we will do the other one. This one didn't turn out near as good as that one. It was hard getting that all in there. Yeah, there was a few choice words said while I was doing that. Hmm. Alright, so around again. I have to remember to show you guys what I, the really cool buy that I found the other day. We have um, this place we all call the Share Shed. It's just by the local dump and people just drop things off there that they, you know, don't want to throw away because a lot of people can use that stuff and they sell it very very cheaply extremely cheaply I got a um, teak dining room table I refinished it's just gorgeous I got it for ten dollars like where can you buy a teak dining room table for ten dollars pretty cool and then I went to the value village in the next town because we don't have one here and found four chairs and I got the four chairs at value village for forty dollars which they're all wood very well made so I figured that's a pretty good savings So for 50 bucks, I got myself a teak table and four chairs. I'm not too sure what kind of wood the chairs are made out of. I, I think they might be, um, I don't know, maybe pine and they're a light colored wood. So I'm not really too sure on the wood. But they'll work for me. I did have a lacquer finished red colored huge table and I have a small dining room and 
Yeah, the table came with six chairs, but the finish was worn and the table was just too big for the room. And so when I found that teak table, I went, yeah, this is much better. You can fit six people around it, but four more comfortably. So that's, there's only two of us here. We do have the occasional time where people come for dinner, but it's not a real daily occurrence. And sad to say, we hardly ever sit at the dining room table anyway. We have a really bad habit of eating dinner while we're watching TV. Yeah. But, oh well, that's all right. So I'm going around the, again. And I think, yeah, I went around three times on that handle. So I'll go around three times on this one. Smoosh. One more round. Let's see where the glue stopped, right there. Yeah. I have a Chihuahua puppy. In the community page, there's actually a picture of her. And on holidays, I always visit thrift shops and, and stuff like that. And at Value Village, I found a life jacket for her. Outward Hound is the brand. And because we are we go fishing. And I, I just I was afraid that she'd somehow fall out of the boat. Which, yeah. So, I have this life jacket. And I checked them. And they're almost $100 at the pet store. I got it for $5. And it's like brand new so it has a handle so you know if she happens to fall overboard you can just grab her by the handle and haul her back in I don't think she's that strong of a swimmer she hates the water I think it's a chihuahua thing she absolutely hates it she, she whines and cries if she gets near water and she thinks you're going to put her in it oh she just no I don't want to go. It's water. It might hurt me. <laughs> there. Okay. So. Yeah. You wrapped jute. Wrapped jute. That's cool. Um, I really am not sure what to do with the inside yet. But. That looks okay. Wow, now what am I going to do? That just went too quickly. I wonder if I should put jute maybe along the outside edge. Hmm. I don't know. What do you think? Should I or shouldn't I? Hmm. Oh, it might keep the fabric from getting banged up, maybe. Um, hmm. Or maybe I'll just turn it over and wrap the inside handles because I really don't like the way they look. So maybe I'll just go around the inside handles with the, with the jute too. I paid a whole dollar twenty-five. <laughs> So, yeah, I'll just do that. Maybe I'll go around this edge with the jute, too. So, my garden is doing well. I grew leeks this year for the very first time. 
Um, they kind of a cool weather crop. So when it got really hot outside, they started to bolt and bloom. And yeah, so I had to go out there and knock off the flowers all cut them off so that you know they wouldn't go to to flower and ruin my leek because I really like leeks they're actually delicious okay it's sticking to my fingers again Corner. So I made soup out of a leek. I uh, made leek potato and carrot soup. I cooked them all and I, I sauteed some onions too. A little bit of garlic. I cooked them all and until they were nice and tender. And then I used my hand blender and I blended it all. It was very creamy and it was delicious. So now that's my new favorite thing to eat is leek and potato and carrot soup. It's so good. It didn't actually take all that long either. Go around, whoops. Again, on the inside, I think. Come on, stick. Mm -hmm. Behave yourself, Jute. Now it's sticking to my tweezer. <laughs> Glue. Yes, glue is just, you know, it's a good thing, but... Yeah, and I think I'm going to go around the inside of the handle. I don't like that look of the inside, so I'm just going to continue along the inside. So I have Asiatic lilies in my backyard and they're starting to bloom and they're just gorgeous. I'll take a picture of them and post them on the community page. They're just one of my most favorite flowers. They're so pretty. They kind of remind me of the Easter lily. Some of them are white and some of them are kind of pinkish purple color. Just pretty, and they smell good too. Mm hmm. There we go. That looks more finished. Yeah, that's better. And I don't think I'll go around three times on the inside. I think I'll just go around. give the handle some strength. Maybe. <laughs> okay, one more time. Around and round again. This time I'm going to go close to the inside and then wrap around on the outer edge. Yeah. I like this tip. Can't remember where I got it, but 
man, it gives you a very small bead of glue. It's a metal tip just screwed onto a the tip of a condiment bottle which I got at the local Walmart for a dollar dollar ninety nine I think it was and it's nice and soft easy to squeeze just like those bottles that you use for icing and that but psh, way cheaper and it works just fine I'm all into bargains. Can't you tell? <laughs> all right. Down around. Okay. Tuck that end down so it's not sticking up. Smoosh, smoosh. There we go. One more time around. I don't think I'll make this a theme. I think I'll just make eclectic. I'll just put whatever I figure is pretty inside once I get my signatures and that made up. I'm not too sure how thick the um base is, but I'm it's all about almost two inches, I think. There we go. Trim that off. Like so. There we go. That's the inside handle. Yeah, I think that the, the spine is about two inches an inch and a half, so I should be able to put quite a few signatures in there. I think I'm going to make a hidden signature just so we don't see the strings on the outside because I kind of like that, just the way it is. And I really like these flowers. I just, I think they're pretty. Yeah. Um, hmm. I think I might just either go around with the jute or if it's possible I have this I have this lace and there's probably enough to wrap all the way around so maybe what I'll do is wrap it around the edge like so. It should bend okay around the corners maybe. Hmm. I I'm not sure about that. But anyway, that's my handles done for the day. Hmm. Um. <laughs> Make up your mind, Debbie. Are you, do you really know what you're doing? No. I don't. But, hmm. It'd be easier to, um, 
I think I'm going to put jute all around it, all around. I've decided that that's that. So I will do that. so it doesn't move on me and just continue very close to the edge just to give it some definition I guess is a good word like jute. I like natural cottons and stuff like that. I think they're much better than the synthetics. Better for the environment, that's for sure. Nice. Spin her around this way. So what else is new with you guys? I hope you're not suffering with those forest fires. Or hurricanes, or tornadoes, or any of that. I hope everybody is safe and sound and life is good. That is my wish for everybody. <laughs> I don't know if you can hear them, but the crows are out there making a racket. They wake me up every morning. And it's like soon as it gets light, like 5 a.m., and they're out there with their caw, 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 and it's like, really? You know, go away. Let a person sleep, for heaven's sakes. much I can do about it. And the squirrels, they've been extremely busy gathering pine cones. I sit out on my back deck and every now and then you hear this bang, da 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 What is that? And it's the squirrels up in the tree throwing pine cones and they hit the metal roof of our of our shed and they roll down and hit the ground so yeah and they do this right from about this time of year right through until they've gotten pretty much all of them it's hilarious thank goodness we don't have a metal roof on our house or they'd be bang thud thud thudding on our house <laughs> they are quite the uh, 
Quite the busy little guys. going faster than I thought it would. And what else do I have that makes noise out there? Mostly just the crows and the squirrels. Mostly. Yeah. I had chickens. I don't have chickens anymore, but chickens are funny. Every time they lay an egg, they go squawk, 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 squawk until they're done. And those chickens, oh my goodness. I had eight chickens and I got every day eight eggs. Every day. It was getting to where I didn't know what to do with them. That's a lot of eggs. You know, in ten days you have eighty eggs. It's like, oh. I could sell them, but there's so many people in our town that sell eggs that it was really hard to get new customers so yeah I didn't sell them I kind of miss the eggs though but the chickens and any other kind of livestock they they tie you down you know you can't go away for a month at the time because who wants to watch someone's chickens for a month you know I certainly wouldn't want to watch someone's chickens every day for a month, twice a day. I did not have an automatic door opener for my chicken shed, so you had to go there in the morning, you know, and let them out. And then you would have to go back in the evening after they go back to bed and shut the door so that creatures didn't get in there and kill them. Because that happens. We have a lot of wild animals around here. We've got coyotes, we have foxes, we have cougars, bears, martins, you name it. They're all over the place here. We don't live in a city. I live out in the country. Um, yeah. So I just, you know, I don't have chickens anymore. Speaking of bears and wild animals, last summer I walked out off my back porch about, and I went to go buy this, we have a huge fir tree, and all of a sudden I heard this roof, 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 and I thought, what is that? Freaked me right out. I've never heard that sound before. And I'm standing under the tree and it's getting louder and louder, and I look up. And up in the tree above me, there is the mother black bear and two cubs. Well, I tell you, I made a beeline back to the porch, called my husband and said, um, we got bears in the tree. And we're all, we're standing there watching them up in the tree. And we're going, well, hmm, I hope they come down soon two days. They were up there for two days before they decided to come down. Yeah, it was a little scary. You know, you don't want to mess with a mother and cubs. So we kind of kept our distance and didn't really go out there until they were gone. And the one cub climbed down the tree and it proceeded to go over to a birch tree and climb right back up again. We're going, really? 
Like, you know, go away. And then the mother climbed down. And then the other cub followed her. And then the mother climbs back up the tree, up the fir tree. It's like, <sighs> yeah. And they finally, I guess they probably got thirsty. And they finally climbed down the tree and jumped over the neighbor's fence and hit the road. Going, thank you. You know, goodbye. Don't come back. I've lost my tweezers. Oh, no, there they are. Yeah. So that was interesting. We even have moose wandering around here occasionally, but haven't seen one in quite a while. And I only live eight kilometers from town. You'd think we were way out in the middle of nowhere, but eight kilometers is not very far. Oh, I'm almost around. You know, I'm chatting and chatting and I didn't realize that I was almost done with that. All right, let me move that clamp to get it out of the way. And that would be the last little spot. There we go. That kind of defines the oops stick. You silly, silly, silly twine. Just please stick. Don't do that to me when I'm just about done with you. Don't keep popping up. be the end of that for the day. Oh yes, I forgot I was going to show you my big find of the day that I got at our share shed. I got this roll of lace. Like it's huge. It goes way down like, you know, that's just a lot. And I got it for a dollar. Like somebody was selling it for a dollar twenty-five a yard. And someone tried to sell it at a garage sale for a five dollars, which is really reasonable, but I got it for a dollar. So I have a lot of uh, lace to do something with. <laughs> Brand new bolt, it still has the plastic wrap to hold it together. So I thought that was just awesome. Yeah. So that is all I have for you for today. Um, thank you for visiting. And um, please like, subscribe, and share. And maybe even hit the notification button. That way you'll be notified if I, if, when I post another video. And visit my Etsy shop where I have my junk journals and candle holders and various other crafts for sale. And thank you. I appreciate you all. Have an awesome day. And stay safe. Stay healthy. And I will see you again soon. Bye-bye.